dive into frozen waves where the past comes back to life. Where we left off is where Popo left to go see the rest of her family uh, at this village, and I believe this is her mom. Okay, um, Popo's mom. Popo brought you here? Are oh, you silly girl? She's just lying. She always does this. Don't take part of her games. Ooh, thank you. Be good and go to back, uh, go to wherever you came from. <laughs> oh, that was put nicely. Uh, anything I can help you with? Nuo. Nuo traveled to the west, following a group of knights from the Red Kingdom. I was worried you might be one, but you don't appear like them. Those people are bad news. Hmm, <laughs> Nuo. I don't think those were the lizard people, were they? This village is one of the safest places in the world, a far cry from the brutal deserts outside. To be honest, I'm not sure why. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't make much scientific sense, does it? I don't know. Popol. Ever since going down into that old swamp, Popol's been a wreck. Always talking about Goldwood being a prison. How we're trapped with it, not with it, uh, not it with us. It all sounds crazy, but sometimes I wonder, what did she see down in the swamp? Hmm, I don't know. I would like to know that too, mister. Looks like some kind of anchor. Ha. Huh. That's an oddly placed anchor in the middle of nowhere. Let's talk to the locals. Nobody wants outsiders in their village. What's with the poncho? Hey, man. <clears throat> People from the east look like clowns. No, uh, no wonder they're stuck out. There are no other choice. That's pretty harsh. The minute don't like fire. It's uh, usually enough to keep them away. Not that an outsider like you uh, would know anything about weaknesses. <laughs> okay. So far, the people of this town are very friendly in their comments. Well, it's a huge house. What kind of armor is that? It looks all rusted. You outsiders uh, have really low standards. Okay, and you have some good sense of fashion? I like my blue color over your green. Some kind of church or something? Huh. I guess this doesn't serve any purpose right now. Maybe uh, there'll be a cutscene later where we revisit the church or something. Let's go check inside here. That is a door, right? <laughs> Hello there. Keep Goldwood spotless and perfect. That's what separates from the rest of the world. It's all because of our dedication, of course. If those outside weren't so witless, they'd learn too. That's a very good mentality that everyone should learn. Some hardworking people in this town. Is there something you need? Shop. Hmm, mm, 15k gold, that's promising. Alright, I will do that. 25 upgrade. Get me a purple hood. Alright, that sounds good. I wonder, is she, is she even in my party right now? Oh, she is, but... She... took off. <laughs> Me here. Wow, that's some optimization right there. Uh, I really have to do it myself? Oh. That doesn't describe the word opti optimizing. Oh my god, same thing. Well, hmm. I mean, I see more benefit in that equip over the other one, even though it decreases one of my stats. So it's not particularly low, but I still find it better. Alright, 
let's go back outside, see what else we missed. Let's find where Popo is. Cause I don't think she's in me. No pun intended. Is that Popo? No, that's not Popo. What am I talking about? Oh, wait, that is Popo. Wait, yeah. I was looking at the other girls the that way. What? What the heck? Who are you? Welcome. You may rest here whenever you like. Goldwood is such a peaceful place to stay. Thank you. So you got a different array of people from having really nice comments to outsiders, or actually, yeah, like that little girl at first. She's actually very nice to outsiders, just like myself. This young Ara. Hmm. Axis. Ara, why don't you keep running from home? Why do you keep running from home? I want to leave. Why? Our kingdom has been made pure by the throne. The land blossoms, and our opponents are made lax. I don't care. Do so when you're older. That's too long. You don't like it here? It's bigger out there. Bigger. Larger than both of us. There's something beyond those fountains. I know it. There's nothing for you out there, Ara. The world outside is unsafe. That's why you've. That's why you've a kingdom. That's some wording right there. Go back home. Yes, Papa. Dang, access to some like goat god or something. I like his horns. You're right. She really misses her, her rightful home. Gotta fix that crown. Can I say thank you? Oh, nope. I guess you didn't know I just stayed a full night's sleep right next to you. But thank you. Thank you for such a good house of Tati. Is that? That's not Popo. How'd I do like a triple look at her? some fish. Hi. I've never seen people like uh, those knights in red. Are they from outside of the forest? Knights in red. Oh yeah, yeah. They're dangerous. <laughs> They're always trying to kill me. Hi, 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 hi. I guess I can't talk to her oddly enough. Bingo. Let's see. Knight's bracelet. And I'm guessing that's for Aura. I do not want a manual. What is it, armor? It's a nice armor, correct? Maybe it's for someone else. Hmm, this statue looks like, or reminds me of like Titanic or something. Jack! But I guess R can be Jack, and uh, I can be the girl. Come on, I want to talk to you. Talkative. That is Popo. Uh, is that Popo? Aw, she has a red, um. A red jacket. Or a red mantle. Can I visit every place we can Interesting. I feel like I missed some place already. Alright, let's just backtrack up here. Hm. Oh! Oh, thought I was onto something. Guess not. Hmm. I wonder why they made that uh, actual platform for you to walk on. Alright, looks like I'm out of here. Could have sworn Popo ran off somewhere. Unless she actually came back in the, inside of my. inside of me. Okay, 
any churches over there and nothing. Actually, let's try that door again. Sorry for the backtracking, guys. I just need to see if this can actually open. Please? I guess it's just a part of the background, I guess. That's a first. Oh, actually, no, that's not a first, but... They should just made it a part of the door. That's kind of weird. Well, say goodbye, Popo. I guess that was just a pit stop. Unless I'm totally missing something. Okay, I forgot the sense of direction. Was I going on? I think I was coming down. Let's check. Hmm, okay. What the heck are you? Oh, how are you? My name is, uh... Junipe. <laughs> Junipe. <laughs> What am I doing, you ask? Why, I'm fishing for a horse. Oh, a house. <laughs> I can't read today, sorry. There's a great big orca down there whose shell would be perfect. Does that sound strange? Building one takes too long. Oh, I guess Bubble isn't me. Gotcha. This guy's strange. Uh, I don't even know if it's a guy or a girl. He's got like a skull mask going on. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Wow, I can go underwater. Nice. Never knew this could be like a water gameplay. Alright, haven't battled in a while. Oh yeah, I forgot to... Alright, there's no actual place to get potions at first, too. Oh well. Unless I missed the general shop in the town. But there's only the blacksmith at first, so... I'm assuming I didn't miss anything. Good to know what you're getting stronger with every battle. Let's see how we'll fare against these two people. Ooh, wow. <laughs> That's a buttload of damage. I forgot I can spam crescents here, even though it takes one, one charge time, or one charge turn. Ah, there's the Oh, look at these guys are workers, okay. Ooh, singing right? Oh, Rika. There you go. Not Orca. Orcas are, um, no, whales if I am from the right. This is the soundtrack. It's quite the water thing. It has this menacing, um, eerie, uh, eerie, eeriness to it, too. Kind of like this mystery, uh, mystery uh, aspect to it. Like you're down here, you're not, you're not, you're not sure what you're gonna find down here. Sort of a sense of an adventure. Hmm, got some shells. Hi, fish. It's actually pretty wide down here. Hmm. I wonder if it's kind of linear. Like, you would just go straight down, or is there any sense of exploration? 
<laughs> I guess going down is a... Wow, you're a big... And that is not what she said. Let's go break your defense. Bring up quite the fight. Wow, he has a lot of HP too. Jesus, is this worth it? Find getting that treasure? Damn. He's resisting a lot. Well, good thing he's not hitting me for a lot of damage either, so. I think I'm gonna need to poop my skills after this battle. I'm guessing at the halfway, no, no, quarter point, he starts, uh, he starts breaking his shell. Uh, there we go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, level up. Alright, that was definitely worth it. Orca helmet. I'm assuming Aura. But who knows? Was that? We got the Horka helmet at first, right? Yeah, oh, okay. We, that was actually in town that we could have bought it too, so. Not entirely worth it, but. Especially since I don't have potions right now. Okay. So this is going down. Can I go down further? Okay, so we actually had to fight that guy. Hey Aura, look! The Minic built canals to funnel purified water to the rest of the world. Looks like they're still running. They say the ocean surrounding our land is poisoned, but the Minic tried to filter, uh, filtering it for themselves. The fourth team decided to open up the canals to spread the purified water to the rest of the world. That was his first mistake, one of many. The Minic revolted against him. What could make them so reluctant? I don't get it. Oh, what did the Minics survive without uh, pure water before the filters? They're really good at adapting, you know. Their off-breeds live all over the place. I wouldn't be surprised if they could survive anywhere. Humans are a lot more fragile. It's always a trade-off. You can't have it all. Well put. Oh, oh, oh. So it seems like uh, these guys are like everywhere. The Minic, that is. I don't think what I was fighting were uh, mimics though. Mimics. Alright guys, we'll stop here for this playthrough and see you guys in the next episode. This is Azure, signing out.